You special and she reckless And babe, you're my bestest friend Yeah, she my bestie My love for you is endless Nobody else can end it And when I get the money back Then baby got Hey, what's up, besties? Welcome back to another video. Today, we're going to be featuring the Ahohu Gel Nail Polish Kit that I got from them. Thank you guys so much for sending me this. The colors are absolutely amazing. We'll get into that more in the video. All right, so if you are just getting here, I'm Elaine Michelle, and I'm your new best friend, period. So make sure you click the subscribe button as well as the notification bell so you don't miss any more of my videos and join the bestie community, okay? Text that number that's on the screen right now. All right, so I'm going to split the video up into three different pieces because um, I am going to show you how I apply my nails I'm going to go an overview of the nail kit that you can get as well and then I'm going to show you how I design my nails so let's go ahead and get started with the prep all right, so I'm going to be going in with my Kiara Sky Jelly Tips from the kit. I'm going to be using step one, which is the prep, and step two, which is the prime, as well as my Young Nails Protein Bond. All right, so I'm buffing my nails out, and I love, love, love this buffer. Um, I got it from that company that nobody really liked for a little bit. That was like fraudulent and stuff. But anyway, that was one of the first orders I did with them, and I actually got it, and I love that buffer brush. It, it just works for me. So you want to make sure you buff out first. Then I go in with my step one which is the prep and it just really like dehydrates your nails and gets you ready to go okay it's going to suck all that out of there and I'm going to go in with number two and this is the primer and the primer really gets your nails ready to put whatever you have on there and please you guys do not skip this step it is so important that you prep and prime your nails um, correctly because this will help you with the health of your nails it's just like when you do your makeup right when you're doing your makeup you want to make sure you have a primer before you put on your foundation so that it's not going directly on your nails and I can always tell a difference when I am you know really like uh like not prepping correctly but anyway so in the midst of this you guys are going to see me kind of pause sometimes and you'll see my phone come out because i'm also doing a tiktok video i have learned how to tiktok at the same time i'm using these a prey gel nail tips i love these and i love a prey because they um come in these different sizes and stuff and i think i found a company on amazon that's going to be very similar i'm waiting on those to come in but i did find that these nails are like some of the best so i do have several different um styles of nails so these are the coffin they're the medium coffin tips and i don't know if i told you guys this before but we have a length requirement at work of what we can and cannot wear and although I'm not on the floor I try to make sure that I you know set a good example so I don't want my nails to be too long I do love a good long nail so I may do some press-ons one day like when I want to have them on the weekends or whatever you know be a little <laughs> razzle dazzle all right so I'm just going in now and I'm fitting my nails and I was showing you guys you want to make sure you go from sidewall to sidewall that is super duper important you don't want it to super hug your nails Nail or anything like that you want to make sure that it's giving you enough room to kind of like breathe and not to press down so hard that you have to do a whole lot of to keep it on there that's going to help with you um with the adhesion now i'm using my kiara sky nail lamp you guys it's my favorite um but if you don't have one i get it um there is some some different ones available on Amazon. The Model 1's uh, lamp is actually really good, like the small lamp like this. Um, the Beatles lamp sits up a little bit higher, but I mean, it's all about preference of what you like. The Model 1's nail kit, the nails do not work for me, but the Beatles nail kit, the lamp didn't work for me. So it's like a give or take for what you wanna have, but it's inexpensive on Amazon. So now I'm going in with the primer. I decided to etch one of them to see if it would last longer if I etched it or if I um, use the prep inside of there, the dehydrator inside of the nail, because I heard that um, if you use the dehydrator, it kind of does the same thing that etching the nail does, which helps it to adhere to your um, to to your finger a lot better if you etch it. So um, that's why you saw me pull out my e file. But for the most part, I don't even think I use my e file anymore for this process. So if 
it does work, then that eliminates the the need for an e file. Just letting you guys know that's a you know a step you don't have to take or something else you don't have to really buy. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna be um, adhering those nails and all that and all that. Um, oh wait, no. Okay, looks like I'm still I'm still dehydrating. Okay, so I pause to do a TikTok. That's what I did. All right, so we're going to be going in with our Beatles nail glue. And y'all, this is my absolute top tier favorite. Okay, ding, ding, ding. This is major key right here. This product is going to be your best friend. Now, I have pretty much all of the other ones, but this one stands out to me. It lasted the longest. And again, like it's available on Amazon. Y'all know I love stuff that's available to me quickly on Amazon. Okay, so now I'm just going in and I'm using this as a base coat. So you want to give yourself some room to have something to protect your nails yet again so I put a base coat down now you don't have to do this some people don't recommend doing it but I do it okay and then this is my lamp it's a 60 watt lamp I couldn't remember when I was recording it but it is a 60 watt lamp UV and LV lamp and so I'm just gonna let my hand sit in there for 30 seconds and that way it can you know kind of dry just a little bit enough so that we can move on with the process all right so you're gonna see me now I'm gonna go ahead in and put the glue in all of the nails i found that this makes it really easy for me to just boom 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 like quickly move from nail to nail and just adhere instead of like pausing and stopping and trying to put more glue on and stuff like that it's just a like i guess a, a life hack like it's just easier to do put your glue in there and keep it pushing all right, so let's get our lamp out here and we're gonna be using this to adhere our nails. So I usually try to hit it before because it is like a 60 second and then I will press down, shake it together, let it sit under there for at least 10 seconds because I will put it fully inside of the lamp over there. Um, to the left hand side, I'll put it in the big lamp. So I just keep doing that process. I'll press the button hit it down and then go from there so um you have to be kind of careful with this and i think this is the one that like will have a bubble in it see how i hit it afterwards and this is why i hit the lamp button before i start adhering stuff because yeah baby girl will have bubbles and everything else and you just want to try to not have the bubbles because that does um make the nails not last as long and shout out to my tiktok okay all right so we have the nails adhered look at that looking good now we're going to stick them into our lamp for 60 seconds just to make sure everything was nice and covered and we got it all done so that's the next piece of it because we only put it in for 10 seconds each time you just want to go ahead and make sure that they're going to be nice and strong now we're going to go and buff with our buffer brush we're going to buff these nails out because we're going to be putting a polish on there make sure you don't skip this step because it's really going to make sure your polish lasts and use the alcohol to wipe off that excess dust all right, so here we go. We have the 12 colors plus three. So it should be, if I'm not mistaken, I should get a base coat. I should get a, a, All right, you guys, so here we go. We have our Ahuhu, our 12 colors plus one. And this means we're gonna get the different colors, plus we should get a base coat, we should get a top coat, and probably a top matte coat. Not sure 100%, but we are gonna see what's inside. All right, so we open it up. Oh wait, oh wow, they even gave me a nail dryer with it. Oh my gosh, okay. So this is the 12 colors and nail polish kit. It's a whole kit. So we get 10 colors plus two glitters okay that's dope and the package contents you get the gels the base gel the top coat you get a nail file a nail buffer a nail clipper steel pusher cuticle trimmer nail first of all i didn't know i was getting all of this i didn't i had no idea oh my gosh and they give you all the instructions plus some precautions this is so dope so let's go ahead and get inside of here i had Y'all, I'm tripping. I had no idea that the whole nail kit, this is what you want. Now, I wanted, let me see before I can, what will it tell me? It just says UV lamp. It doesn't tell me what, um, what the UV lamp wattage is. And the reason why I say that is because this lamp that I have over here, I believe is like a 60 um, watt. I'll have to see, but that's been the best one and it like does what it's supposed to do. So let's move this big old box out the way. We have this 
And this is how they package everything inside of the box. Just so we can get some. My desk ain't all that big, okay? <laughs> so here's our colors. Let's open up this little lamp, this UV LED lamp. And it has their branding on it, so that is dope. Uh, let's see. Yeah, it doesn't. It doesn't say anywhere on there what the wattage is. I'm looking, searched all over. Okay, so I did find here in the packaging, it says it's a 36 watt lamp. Um, so that is really, really good. It has 18 lamp beads, so that is cool. Um, it does have a USB uh, connector to it. So I'm going to, I guess, connect that to USB and we'll use this one to dry our nails. Then as I see at the top part here, hopefully I, you guys can see, I don't know, the letters might be hard to tell in there, but there's a 60 second, an 80 second and a 99 second button on there. So that's pretty dope. I wish it had a 30 second, but I'll, you know, I'll live, I'll live with that. So let me plug this in. All right, so let's see the tools that we get inside of the packaging too. Okay, so we have these little things, which I needed some of these for my toes, so that's perfect. We have a buffer brush, which you guys know I love this other buffing brush like that, so that's perfect for me. Buffing file, brush, whatever you wanna call it. We have a nail file. It doesn't say what grit. I like to know what grit. So hopefully it's 180 um, grit on there. It doesn't say about the nail file. So I don't know what um, grit the nail file is, but let me see. Yeah, it doesn't have any instructions on what that is. So I'm, I don't know. I'm pretty sure it must be like a 180 grit, but it's uh, it's pretty thick, pretty sturdy. Then we have the brush. I love to use this to like get away all the dust. Love this, it's probably doubles as a makeup brush too, but um, I love those. And then we have our metal cuticle pusher, which this is also a great tool to have if you want to pull up your nails. I use this all the time for that. So I'll push back my nails and then when I'm ready to pull them up as well, I'll just take this little part here and I'll put that in there and undo my nails. So this is a great little tool to keep on hand if you have that and then also a cuticle nipper this one i would say just make sure you're careful with because hunty <laughs> this little thing here it does not look like it but this little thing here is listen it's a beast oh a nail clipper oh this is a big a strong one a big one and a strong one this is my like professional style nail clipper and this one feels um dang near the same this doesn't have that little file on the inside so, uh, yeah, this one is, I like it. Some of the ones you get be like flimsy. So I'm really excited about that. And then you have your brush, like when you need to like use some alcohol and get that scrubbed in. So that is so dope, yo. We got all the essentials to paint our nails, like right now. Sorry, let's pause for a water break. <laughs> all right, so here we have our polishes. So let's see how they come out. Let's go ahead and pop these out of here. What is this? This is the base gel. We have our top gel, and then we have our matte top coat. Okay, so y'all know one of my favorite things to do is to use the color wheel so that I can use all the colors. Hopefully I have enough. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. I got just enough to do this color wheel. So let's do this and have some fun with it. All right, so we'll go ahead. We'll just start in the order that we see it. Oh, this is a nice thick one here. It's really thick. Like the polish is just thick. It just, I don't know if y'all can even see that, but the polish is super thick, which is good. That means it's not gonna take as many coats. It's kind of a clearish color. Maybe I'll do, let me do this because these ones are already done. So you see how it is by itself. And then I'm going to maybe put it over this one. So you can just kind of see that the sparkle, I guess, or whatever. Okay, <laughs> that's a bit much. Let's keep going. Then we have GP02, and I'm thinking this is the pink sparkle. Oh, look at that. Okay, that's a nice pink sparkle there. Let's put this one on this side and paint this. And with the sparkles, you can just keep going over it as much as you want. Pull it again, and it will add more shimmer to it. All right, let's go in with the V50. I don't think my camera is like picking up what I'm putting down, but this is so, 
I just did that. I literally just did that, y'all. Don't don't come for them because I just did that. Pull, pushing it up and pulling it down, trying to have a moment. Okay. And this one here. Oh, it's thick. Oh, my goodness. That's so thick. <laughs> I love it. I love a polish that's not too thick, but just thick enough that you can do one coat. This is a one-hitter quitter right here. This is a one-hitter quitter, and I love it. And I stand. I stand a fan already. Not going to use this purple, so I'm going to go ahead and put that back up. This is B20. Oh, yeah. Look how thick. She thick. D -d 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 <laughs> I thought I had my autofocus on, but it looked like it just wanted to play games with me today. So there's that. Let's go to G40. That is the G40. Okay, this is Y10. Okay, this is really um, like a really pale yellow. So you'll probably, if you want to make it bolder, I would say you're going to need two coats of this one. But here we go. This is Y10. This is V30. So I'm assuming that's probably standing for like Violet 30. Again, this is really thick polish. Oh my gosh. Who doesn't love a polish that you can just one hit or quitter? You ain't got to do all that extra work, child. Who wants to do all that extra work? All that extra polishing. Now, I will say when you do have a thicker one, definitely let this sit longer in the um, UV. So, you may, I would do two minutes instead of one. Then we have V30 here. Okay, we got P60 up next. Oh, we got a good pink. Shorty thick. Th -th 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 thick. And what this will also be cool for, you probably can use these for designs as well because it is so thick. So it won't be runny when you're trying to do a design. Just something to think about. And I'm just painting this. You might need two coats of this one as well, but we're going to let it see and let it settle. And this is the P60. Again, I think the letter stands for like the color, so that's P60. I think I'm catching. I think I'm. Ooh. Wait a minute. Is this like a, a light? This is V10. This is like a very, very light pastel y purple. Purple leap purple. Oh, that's pretty. It's kind of got like a white base to it. That is really pretty. And that is the V10. That's an interesting color. I wonder is it peach? Yep. <laughs> I said, I just said that. Like, I wonder was it like a peach color? So let's put this on here. It's like orange. Actually, this probably won't be bad to do right now because it's more leaning towards the fall colors. Like, kind of. Or am I, am I making that up? Maybe I'm making that up, y'all. I could be making it up. It might not be a fall color at all. But it could fit in with the fall. You know what I'm saying? It could, look, see how that looks on camera? It could fit in with the fall. So that is YR20. And then this is YR10. And this is the color I'm actually going to be picking for today because it is a very neutral color and I like it. So we're going to use that one. Unless that green hitting on something a little bit closer to fall colors, maybe. But this, I love a good nude, a good tan color. And this is YR10. Oh, that green though looking little. Okay. It's, it, it might be given what it was supposed to have given. That's not that bad. But I have a design in my head that I want to do. And so I'm going to try it. But yeah. So that is the G30. All right, you guys, so those are all the colors. So now it's time to put our base gel on and we're gonna get into this design. So we're just gonna add this base gel coat top on top of here and I really like it. It wasn't runny. It was nice and like not too thick, but just, just good enough to make a good base coat, okay? So you just wanna apply that to all of your nails and then you're gonna let that cook in the cooker for 30 seconds. All right, and here I was just showing you guys what it looked like after I had um, cooled everything down, like put it in the cooker. All right, so we're gonna be going in with that YR10. And I think I told you guys this before, like when I was doing the color wheel, that I kind of felt like it was gonna take a few coats of this polish. Um, although it's thick, this is one of those colors that like, I don't know, I, it doesn't, 
spread thickly so as you are doing your polishes and stuff like that just make sure you clean up around your edges because it makes it so much harder to come back and do the cleaning afterwards um, after you've already put it into the lamp especially like trying to file it down it just creates more work so if you can before you put it in the lamp and if um, you have like a novice hand or you feel like your um like maybe like you just need some assistance, go ahead and do one at a time so you won't bump into the other nails. I've kind of gotten to a point where I feel like I do a decent enough job <laughs> to uh, make sure I paint all of them at one time, but definitely don't feel like you have to. All right, and so I'm putting it into the cooker and I'm gonna let that cure for at least 60 seconds. If you're gonna be doing multiple levels, I highly suggest making sure you do the maximum and not the minimum so that you won't have that layer of uncuredness because that is not cute and it makes it harder to work with. And I was doing a French tip style nail, so I knew already off the bat that I wanted to make sure that the polish was very nice at the bottom not streaky you know very um just making sure it was you know thick and and easily to see that it was all one style okay so just make sure you do that when you are um doing a certain design or something like that you know different designs will cause for different styles of polishing so we're going to stick that in there for another round all right, so that was two. We're gonna go ahead and get us a third coat in here. You definitely can stop wherever you feel comfortable, but I needed three, okay? And I was all right, it was all right with me, okay? I really, really like that. All right, so I stuck it in there and now I am satisfied. And I'm sorry, you guys, that this was out of focus for some times, but yeah, this is the detailer brush from Yum Nails. And those two brushes, the dotting brush and that paint brush, the, the white one, are from the Savvy Land kit that I got with those paint pots that I have over there. I'll have a link to the paint pots as well. It was a whole set, I think, of 18 or something like that or 24 something like that but it was really um really cheap and the polishes are really good so i highly recommend this this is still a gel which if you're doing designs it's a lot easier to do them with gel polish because it stays put until you're ready and then you can dry it so i go in i create the arch for the french tip and then i went in with my polish the first time i did it with like the regular white polish y'all i had to do it two times I was like nope I'm skipping that step I'm just going right in with my gel paint pot and I'm gonna simplify this thing out okay it's gonna make it easy simple and all of that so just go in and make sure you put a good enough coat you won't have to do multiples if you um, just make it kind of thick and spread it out nicely that paintbrush is super handy now I'm going to um, be going in and just kind of making sure I clean it up but I went ahead and did like all the lines for it uh, at one time because I was in the mood and I was like, let me go ahead and do this. And then that way, once I clean it off for one thing, then I can move on to the next because I knew I was going to need that detailer brush for um, the other lines that I was going to be doing. So I just went ahead and did all of the Frenching out. <laughs> this just made it easier to just do all of that at like one time. Go ahead and finish up. Again, if you feel like you need to, go ahead and stick it in the cooker for a little bit um, to let each nail cure as you're going on so you don't mess up anything I have been doing this for quite some time so I've kind of gotten used to it and I you know make it easy all right so now we're going to move on to the actual cow print you're going to take your dotting tool or a, like a small detailer brush it either or I found that the dotting tool worked best for me because it made it easier for me to move around on my nails and I literally just like kind of created these little shapes I just put a dot down and then I would like etch on the different shapes of what I felt like was a cow like whatever you think it is and each nail is going to be different it's going to be a different style and I'm sorry that it keeps auto focusing on my little crusty hand at the top instead of what's going on at the bottom but I think you guys can get the overall gist of what I was doing just putting down the dots and then like just kind of drawing it and enhancing it definitely want to make sure that white is cured but also make sure when you're putting this in that that black is cured too so I added some small dots in between there just to kind of give it a little you know little flavor or whatever and then here we go I'm gonna be adding some of those gold flakes on there and that was like pretty easy to do um I just added that I should have on my on my right hand I did go in and put the um top coat on first and then I stuck it down then I cured it and then I put the matte coat on top of there I believe that's what I did 
to make that work so yeah that was a whole thing now i'm just going in with this pink pot and you can choose any color um i really didn't have to i just wanted to add a little jazz because i saw this design on there um this was like a pinterest design that i saw so i wanted to like try it out and so here we go this is what we have going on right now we're going to go in with our top coat to seal everything in and i think i used a foil glue to add those foils on there and that was like what i didn't need to do i don't know what made me do that because i didn't use like quote unquote like the foiling technique i just did the like little foil pieces so i don't know what prompted me to do that but anyway so this is what it looks like with that gel top coat like just a regular top coat we're going in with the matte top coat now just to you know give it that final look like this is this is the look that we wanted to get based on the pinterest that i found anyway um so now we're going to go in with our file and we're just going to file down the sides and anywhere where there was like any excess any extra make sure that shape is there because we did add a lot of extra polish and so you want to make sure you keep that shape kind of getting the top part um, of the nail all of that stuff okay we're gonna go in with some cuticle oil don't skip the cuticle oil okay that's from young nails it smells so so good thank you guys for watching this video i hope you have enjoyed it make sure you follow me on tiktok and everywhere else and let me know what other designs you want to see me doing okay friends Moo. all right i'll catch you guys in the next one okay bye you special and you're reckless and babe, you're my bestest friend yeah she's my bestie my love for you is endless Nobody else can end it And when I get the money back Then baby girl you can spend it oh. And everything is alright I like how you doing